two guys that are out there and they have two or uh, two of the four chin, uh, chin straps are, 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 put, are, are snapped in. All four of them have got to be in there to secure that helmet up. It happens all the time where guys are just, you know what, it's just, it's uncomfortable. Yeah, it's uncomfortable, but it's going to save you. you got to wear the helmet properly. Let's go to Craig in a cell here next. Hi, Craig. Hey, how you doing? What's up? I love the comment that's saying, let's get rid of the holding pod. I think it was uh, TV. I think Amos that uh, heard him say before, every play, there's holding going on with the offer. So uh, if there's every play that's going on, you can call it. You can call it every down that there's some kind of holding going on at some line. Let's just get rid of it. Well, look, I mean, I, I just wondered if the fans would prefer it that way. Fans always talk about how they like scoring. And... Um, it, it, there are also complaints now about how many flags there are in NFL games. I'm like, all right, if you could hold, you would have fewer sacks, the scoring would go up, and the flags are on the floor. I, I, don't, I don't need it, but I'm just wondering if some of the fans would be interested in it. All, all, the, all the professionals continue to say that they're holding every play, but they even you know, you could call it every down. I mm -hmm. uh, appreciate the phone call, Greg. I just... I don't think they're going to go that far again. They're trying to make the game safe and as palatable as possible without fundamentally changing it. Okay, Calvin Johnson has spoken again to Sports Illustrated, and it is interesting what he had to say. We'll get to that at 1220. 97 won the ticket. Ten thousand five hundred miles a year. No security deposit. Due at signing F-150, 2349. Escape, 2480. AZ plan for returning F-150 and escape when seized. F-150 includes factory select inventory cash. Plus tax, title, license, and lock. With approved financing through Ford Credit and September 30th. Brian Godfrey, Pat, been looking forward to celebrating its 60th anniversary this month. How does that make you feel? We're proud of our 60-year tradition delivering award-winning customer service and exceptional savings. Celebrate with Pat Millican Ford and save when you lease the mid-2019 Ford Escape SC four-wheel drive from just one fifty nine. A new 2019 Ford F-150 Super Crew XLT 4x4 from only $149 a month. All from the dealership that's earned Ford's President's Award for Customer Satisfaction 21 years in a row, 1998 through 2018. Plus, we're also a 2018 Ford Triple Crown Award recipient. Celebrate 60 years of savings, service, and customer satisfaction at Pat Milligan Ford on Telegraph Road and PatMilligan Ford.com. Pat Milligan Ford, 60 years of the experience you deserve.
You know, I heard someone earlier say, you know, he was coached uh, in the 50s to put their fists in. Well, you know, I was coached a complete opposite, you know, a complete opposite the technique. It's just, it just does not make sense. I mean, yes, some of the calls are absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. But away from the play, I disagree. And with the, the, the health and the safety of the players, whatever you want to say about it, no. I mean, do I think they need to lighten up a little bit? Yeah. Besides that, yeah, no, I don't think anything's changed. Jack, thank you for the phone call. Uh, we promised we'd get to it. This is a Sports Illustrated story that is going to print and will be in next week's SI. It's on their website. It's a story about Calvin Johnson. And he has some pretty damning things to say about the Lions. Uh, and he says it's not about the money. He's asked how much money he had to repay the Lions when he retired. $1.6 million or something like that which was the prorated portion of the signing bonus the Lions made him pay back. He said, hey, I didn't need the money, but they didn't need it either. Uh, here is the quote. Detroit asking for the money back, quote, wasn't no killer, but at the end of the day, you don't do that to your best players. Uh, according to the person who wrote the story, which was, let me find out who that was, Michael Rosenberg. Johnson says this without any salt. He does not sound angry. His ego has not been pricked. He is not out for revenge. He isn't even trying to get the money back. Quote, I don't, I don't care. I really don't. If they do pay back the bonus, great. I'll put some money in my pocket. But either way, I'm not tripping. Uh, he says he, quote, won't step foot in anything Lions related unless he gets his money back. But he's not tripping. Says he isn't bitter. Says he suffered at least nine concussions in the NFL, one for every season, and he calls that a super conservative estimate. He's not bitter, but he's not going to set foot in there again until they pay him. Yeah. But he's not bitter. Yeah. Okay. Uh, he later says uh, regarding concussions, let me find this because I'm scrolling down. Um, he got used to concussions. Quote, Bam, hit the ground real hard. I'm seeing stars. I can't see straight. But I know in a couple of minutes I'm going to be fine because I've done that plenty of times before. In 2012, he told reporters he suffered one against the Vikings. Now, that might have been an interview on our station. Then later he came out and said, I misused the term damage and concussion. I knew I was concussed because I blacked out. I wasn't seeing straight. And they, I'm assuming he's the Lions, and they wanted me to change my story. So, he says that the Lions wanted him to say he wasn't concussed. What do you make of all this from Calvin? I think there's a lot of contradictory stuff in there. I, I think he is bitter if they ask him to pay the bonus back. I think it does bother him. And... I'm not going to say this is sour grapes because he, he can feel how he feels. I'm not going to tell a guy how he should feel um, about a team asking you for the money back. But he just keeps contradicting himself. When it comes to the concussion stuff, I don't know. It, it, that I'm not, I'm not sure why you bring that up now. I want to read this whole, I don't know if I gave this, I'm going to read this whole paragraph as it's written. Okay. Uh, to make sure that this is clear. Sports Illustrated story, Calvin Johnson. He got used to concussions. Quote, bam, hit the ground real hard. I'm seeing stars. I can't see straight, he says. He continues. But I know in a couple minutes I'm going to be fine because I've done that plenty of times before. Story goes on to read. In 2012, he told reporters he suffered one against the Vikings. The Lions said and maintained that he passed their concussion protocol. And Johnson later apologized, quote, I misused the term nerve damage and concussion. But he says now, quote, I knew I was concussed because I blacked out. I wasn't seeing straight and they wanted me to change my